Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. You're just playing around tonight. Thought I'd make a show you how to make like a wavy ribbon or something. Uh, my favorite line tool is a three point curve line. I'm just going to draw a line and then I'm going to come in and I'm going to curve it. Now I'm going to set my nudge factor on like two inches and I'm going to hit the plus key and I'm going to nudge it up. You know what? I'm going to go a little bit higher, and make it a little bit thicker. So now you've got this. And you just kind of, you know, use your imagination uh, on what, you know, what tool. And let's just bring this in a little bit closer and feel free to copy this. So I'm going to take the three-point curve line again. I'm going to start like out in here. And I'm going to draw it about right there. And then I'm going to put a little bit of an inward curve on it. Then I'm going to go to this line and I'm going to put a, that other curve on it. Now, both these lines are connected. Let's see what happens when we delete that node and it worked. So it gives us a good smooth curve. Then I would still, maybe let's use our two point line on this one and then just go and, and make this part of this arrow and just kind of go inside that line because we're going to, we're actually going to probably make changes line a little bit but you see we already kind of have it now we need to make the visual effect let's go ahead and cut that take our turn these all into a curve which we could have used the three-point curve line and then give these a little bit of a curve and just you know whatever you think looks the best uh, i'm not the more most artistic person but then we're going to take a two-point line and go from like that edge and we don't want to go straight down and then we'll go ahead and cut that out we need to make this a little more rounder so what we can do now is take the shape tool and see these are two different lines so we can grab the um, smoothing tool click on that line and just Well, tell you what, let me move this. Whoop. Let me move this line out of the way for just a second. Make that line just a little bit smoother. There we go. Now we can bring that other line back with the shape tool and just kind of put it wherever you think it ought to go. And then you can always use, you know, try to redraw on this line, just use the shape tool to bring it down. Now I'm not all the way to the edge here, so I need to make sure it's all the way to the edge. You can go past the edge to cut it off that way. It, you, you'll know that it um, works. I'm actually gonna move this line out a little bit. Uh, instead of redrawing the line, just take the shape tool and just move it up there a little bit. Maybe even give it a little bit of a right click and right click on both of them, turn them into a curve, maybe even give this line a little bit of a curve just ever so slightly i think i actually did a one a better one on my practice one but you get the idea maybe this isn't in far enough and we need to this is where this is a good lesson right here these are two separate nodes so the smoothing tool will not work but if we hold down the shift key select both of them go to windows dockers join curves and now they're one piece so I can use my smoothing tool just ever so slightly that doesn't look half bad let's take the ribbon well let's just I'm going to destroy this you know what instead of doing that let's just uh, nudge everything down let's nudge all our lines And you see I've kind of messed up this part. And just take your shape tool and just move this line down a little bit. Doesn't matter because we're going to cut this off anyway. I think this is probably a little bit too big, but you get the idea. Then take a two-point line, start moving, hold down the control button so it's perfect. 
let's delete this in half. Then we can get rid of that line. Let's go ahead and, and we can go ahead and fill this in with a smart fill tool, like a light gray. Let's make it a little bit darker so it kind of stands out. Let's go ahead and group this together, Control G. Control D to make a duplicate, holding down the control button when you get that two point arrow. This rivet's really a little bit too long, but we could have cut it off elsewhere. Now, how did I get the ribbon into there? Take the Smart Fill tool and fill this in. Then I'm gonna nudge it down. I'm gonna left click, right click. Then I'm gonna open up the Contour Docker. Go to Effects and Contour. I'm gonna contour the inside 0 0.505. Maybe since it's so long, let's go point. 0.4, break your contour apart. I had to fill tool, nudge the new contour down, and then just type out the word ribbon. All caps, sometimes looks the best, or whatever name you're gonna use it. This is actually gonna be way too long for this box. Uh, it's not going to work as well, but we're going to now we're going to open up the go to effects and open up the envelope tool. Go right here to fit inside envelope, and it it stretches it out quite a bit, but it, it's you get the idea. Now hold down the shift key and select that, and then go the letter E and the letter C on your keyboard, and then we haven't done anything to that word, so we can just nudge it up. And what it did, it put it more so in the center and not, it's kind of like the text of path. I don't like that. It, it stretched out too far, but you get the idea. So let's just back up here. I like making it look better so you'll get a better idea. So all we need to do is uh, sh shorten this. So I'm just going to take another two point line and Hold down the control button and then just cut this off. Get rid of our line. Control D to make a duplicate. Holding down the shift key or the control key. Now I, I've kind of got it off a little bit, but we can fix that. So what we're going to do now is, is um, let's do this. Let's go ahead and join these nodes. Okay, I've got to ungroup. I'm going to ungroup everything. And then we can join these nodes. So we're going to grab that side, grab that side, and grab both those. Sometimes I wish I don't cl close Docker down, but I get in such a habit of, well, it ac is actually is, was open. Let me open it again. Docker's join curves. So now that's one piece. Click on that, hold down the shift, click the other side join those and then you could take and we could have really started over but you could take your smoothing tool and just smooth that out a little bit make it look more like a ribbon and you could you know I could have played around with this a lot let's just let's call that good now we got our word ribbon it's not near as going to be as near as long and, and there's another thing we could do with the shape tool, we could select all these, hold down the sh uh, shift key and just kind of bring that up. Let's delete those nodes and see what happens. Looks, looks a lot better. So now we're gonna fill this in with the Smart Fill tool. Nudge it down. We'll go ahead and nudge it over for a second. Left click, right click, go up to effects and contour there's our contour go ahead and break the contour apart break the contour apart now we can all go ahead and nudge it back up into its where it needs to be and then holding down the shift key grab that and ec but you see what i did wrong i grabbed the wrong one first so you need to grab your, your text first, then your shift key this, and then go CE. But I, okay, I didn't envelope it. 
So we're going to take that and close the envelope tool. Go to effects, envelope, fit inside container. And then we can, holding down the, uh, grabbing the ribbon first, and the word is a little bit messed up again, grabbing your part and then go EC, and then take away your, your inner line. And it would always look better to probably have a black outline on the ribbon anyway. And you could add a little bit of color. Let me close these dockers. See, a lot of people will reduce your dockers and then they're still there. But I get out of a bad habit of doing that. See, it messed up the ribbon a little bit. But you can do other things. You know, um, let's fill this in. Whoop. So I've got a little leak somewhere. And uh, let's see if this side leaks. Yep, got a little leak. So I'll, I won't bother with that, but you could fill that in and, and actually give it a little bit of interactive fill tool. Anyway, I hope that just gives you some ideas and thank you for watching.